All right, so we're going to finish up uh, the uh, day 35 um, and 36 uh, lesson here um, with these problems. Number 22 is just like the one before it on the previous video. So go ahead and use that as your example. Again, you don't have a um, gas constant R here with fixed units of measure. So the units of pressure here are kilopascals. You can go ahead and use kilopascals. And uh, you should go ahead and always convert centigrade though to Kelvin, okay? No matter what, it's just a, a good practice, okay? So it's asking you to find out a new volume. It's a balloon, so it can change its volume. So go ahead and do that one. Okay, we're gonna go down to the uh, one of the molar mass density problems. So an unknown gas uh, that is pure element has a density of 0.18 grams per liter at 280 Kelvin and 1.04 atmospheres. Identify the element. Okay, so it does, this does have the gas constant in. Now we saw in a previous problem that there was a different gas constant. For this, for this particular formula, you do use the one that we use for PV equals NRT, which is 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. So it's not the 8.21, it's, it's uh, this one. All right, uh, temperature is, all, is good, it's in Kelvin. Pressure is good, it's in atmospheres. Density is in grams per liter. That's what it should be for this particular um, problem. And we're trying to find what the molar mass is. So let's go ahead and plug it in, molar mass. Now remember what molar mass should end up with is grams per mole. It's how many grams you have for one mole of a substance. So that's what we're shooting for for our units of measure. So the density it gives us is this. So let's go ahead and cancel units. So atmosphere numerator top cancels with atmosphere denominator top. Kelvin numerator top cancels with Kelvin numerator bottom. <clears throat> um, liters numerator top cancels with liters numerator bottom. And it looks like we canceled everything except grams over moles. Numerator top over numerator bottom grams per mole and that's what molar mass is measured in. It's a certain number of grams per mole. Alright so now we can go ahead and uh, run the numbers here and we get uh, 3.978 uh, significant figures here. We have two right there so we're gonna go to uh, three, 4.0 actually. Okay so that's the molar mass. But the question is, identify the element. It says it's a pure element. So we come over to the periodic table and we just hunt around on the periodic table for an element, a pure element with a four. So there it is right there, it's helium. So the answer to the question is helium. Okay, all right. Um, what is the density of O2 gas at 300 K and seven? Um, at 785 torr. So in this case you're going to know the molar mass because it's O2 gas. You're given the temperature and you're given the pressure in torr but you're going to have to convert that to atmospheres. So this time you're using the same equation but you're going to solve for density and do that. So go ahead and do that problem on your own. Okay and what combination, this is an important concept question, what combination of temperature and pressure results it should be in a gas most exhibiting ideal gas characteristics. So if you have a container, uh, this was actually on the video, you have a container and you have a certain number of gas molecules and then you increase that so that they're hitting the sides more often. That's higher pressure. Okay, so they're gonna start interfering with each other more when you have when you pack them more tightly together. Um, the more molecules you have in there, they interfere with each other. So low pressure is better if you want them to act like an ideal gas. Think of an ideal gas as just a single gas molecule all by itself, able, able to move around freely. Um, so that's going to be low pressure. Will contribute to them acting more like an ideal gas, okay? The other one is high temperature. Remember that molecules have a tendency to want to stick together if they don't have much energy and kind of clump together. Um, but if you get the temperature high, that's high kinetic energy, 
that will keep them uh, keep them not allow them to come together. They'll break apart from each other. They'll have enough energy to break apart. So it's low pressure and high temperature um, is going to is going to have them acting most like an ideal gas. Okay, those two, and that's that, that was straight from the video. Let's do one more thing. We're done with this assignment. This is important to do. PV equals NRT. Which gas, which value of R do you use for that? You use this one. Liter atmosphere over mole Kelvin. Okay. Uh, molar mass equals DRT over P. Which one do you use? Same one. Okay, for this one, the speed of um, particles, this is the uh, root mean square speed, is 3RT over molar mass. Which gas constant do you use for that one? And for this one, it's 8.31 joules, which is the standard unit of measure for energy throughout science over moles kelp. Notice the bottom is the same in all three, the denominator. The difference is joules versus liter atmosphere. As I said earlier, there's a way to convert from liter atmosphere to joule and get from this number to this number, but it's not its not something we're going to talk about. Okay? All right, so that takes care of the entire lesson. Uh, next one will be um, solution stoichiometry, and I'll have that up. This lesson, I meant, was very late getting this up for you. This was assigned Monday and Tuesday. You can have until Monday to do this. Okay, we'll see you uh, in class and on the next lesson.